Hello. In this video, we are going to set up one of the many PCs that you see in the background here. Um, this is the UM890 Pro, uh, which features an AMD 780M integrated processor. One of the issues of these PCs, or these mini PCs, is the fact that when you set up a llama with them, they will tend to only utilize the CPU and not the GPU. Hopefully after a few changes to the system, it will be running on all thrusters and you will happily be using Open Web UI. Uh, for that, we are going to have to download a few extra files, uh, set them up, and then we should be able to install a specific version for AMD with a llama, get it up and running. Uh, all the resources that we'll be using will be down below. And to make this video a little more concise, I have previously downloaded everything. Uh, but we will go through each install so that you can see it. So let's get started. The first thing we will do is download the AMD's SDK. Again, all resource, are, resource links are down below, so you don't have to try to grab them out of the browser or anything like that. Um, Windows 10 and 11, and we'll be going for the 6.1.2 version. And this will take you to this page. All it's asking for is an accept and it will immediately download it. Uh, just a heads up, this is over a gig in size, I believe, if I recall. Um, so if bandwidth is an issue or time, click it and go make dinner. Uh, if not, you'll be done shortly and moving forward. The second thing we will need is from GitHub. Uh, these, get, these next two GitHubs are from like Levin Want. He's done a lot of work uh, regarding with AMD and Olama. So we do try to uh, give him a little shout out, the links will below. Um, but when you come to this one, uh, go to the release. Currently he's 612, which matches the SDK we just downloaded. We will come to the release section. We will come down a little down to here. This is what we're looking for. Um, this is exact driver for the AMD GPU that's on this system. So we'll click here simply and it will download. This is not too big. It should move rather quickly. Now, the last piece we need to grab from the same person's GitHub is Olama for AMD. Come here to the releases. Um, I will let you know the only difference really between the two is he has activated the new AMD uh, cards that Olama is looking for that are not available in the standard release. I'd like to come down here, just get the EXE, and we are ready to go. Okay, now that we've downloaded all the necessary resources, let's go ahead and install this. Now, as I said, I already have everything downloaded prior to this. Uh, you should have three different things that we need to take care of. I have uncompressed the drivers, and that's what this is. Then we have the Olama setup, and then we have the AMD SDK. So first we're gonna start with AMD's SDK. Now this is version, 6.1.2, however, this is all it'll stay. But don't really worry about that. Everything is auto-selected for you. And just go ahead and click install. And we will pick this back up once the installation is finished. Okay, now that the installation is complete, we will finish this up. And then we will use the files that came compressed. The first one we're going to deal with is this library file. And we'll come over here to bin and follow this directory structure right here, which is for me, it's the C drive, program files, AMD, ROCKM, 6.1 being the version number, and then binary. We will come within here. Now I like to make a backup copy just in case something happens. I can always go backwards now. Get to the administrator, and that's quickly settled. I will come here. I will simply copy the directory, 
and copy it into there. Now that that is satisfied, we have the DLL to move. We will back up to 6.1 in the live file and copy it within here. And that satisfies the requirements necessary for overriding the drivers so it can use the iGPU. Next, we will install uh, Olama. There's the Olama setup. Now, just to note, if you actually got the Olama setup from the uh, the actual Olama GitHub, it will not work with AMD because it does is not aware of the settings for AMD hardware. So you'll need to get this from the appropriate place so that it will work. Simply install it. And Olama is now running. Okay, now we will go here. Let's go to open web UI. The administrator panel. Let's go, let's now go to models. With a llama, let's go for 3.1, 8B. Just have it download. We will come back to this in a moment when it's finished downloading. Now that the model has successfully downloaded, we will open up a chat window and simply give it a prompt. List the days of week. I misspelled it. But as you can see, prompt went through. Um, if you ever want to just be sure that it's running as it should, you can go into the Alama directory as located here. You can also access it through here to the view logs, come to the servers and this message right here is where it starts to look. If it had a problem, then it would say right after here, there we go, that it was unable to find a GPU. But in our case, it has successfully found the 730M and utilized it. Well, I hope you learned a little bit and enjoyed the video, and it saves you the six hours it took me to figure out how to do it. Uh, if you have any questions, um, just feel free to leave a comment below. And we will keep making more videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.